and welcome back to another episode of Todd Teaches Dungeons and Dragons Online. So, last time we finished up the last quest in Corthos Village, and we uh, take uh, took our second level. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the village. Um, you probably noticed when you finished that last one um, that a couple more um, quests have popped up here. So we're going to go around and pick all of those up. Let's see, there's one back here. It says there's one back here. But I don't see it. Oh, it's from the mayor, I believe, but we can't pick it up yet. So let's pick up these other ones. Here's one up here. Alright, talk to Ursa Jern's ward. Listen, Mega, I know you've been helping around the village, but this is serious. I've been talking to Kaja, and I'm convinced Lars Hayton is alive. I didn't find him in the crypt. Oh, not in the crypt. If you read the word of this, anyone I'll disembowel you. Okay, here it is. I saw Lars Hayton at the old Caneth Manufactory, in the flesh. One moment he was there, and then... If Hayton's actually alive, by dull Dorn, he can help us. Find him, Paladin, acquire his assistance, whatever it takes. If you head out into the wilderness of Corthos Island, you'll see old ruins on the right side of the path. Climb on top of the ruins, you'll find the passage to the Kanth Manufactory. Okay, I'll find Lars Hayton. So this gives you your first quest um, to a wilderness area. <coughs> oh, bless you. So we're going to be going into the wilderness area here in a minute after we talk to Handsome Wilm. Moment of your time, adventure. I would like your services. I can offer your choice items from our cargo as payment. I'm listening. My mistress, uh, Drusen de Jurasco, was assaulted and kidnapped. They were undead, obviously minions of some villain. I followed them some decrepit catacombs here in the wilderness. It's at the base of the river inlet, underneath the south end of the long river, cutting through the middle of the island. I would hire you to travel there and rescue my mistress. Uh, quite reasonable. Alright. So, again, just make sure we can't pick up... Oh, now we can pick up the mayor's quest. I don't know why it wouldn't let us before. So talk to the mayor. Oh, it's you. I beseech you, hero. Something terrible has happened. My daughter, Arissa, has been kidnapped. We heard her scream in the night. By the time we got to her room, she was gone. What can be done? I think she's been held by other with other prisoners at the old Kenneth Aqueduct. Okay, Kenneth Aqueduct, rocky cliff on the easternmost tip of Corthos Island. All right, blah, blah, blah. It's our only chance to rescue the prisoners. I beg you, hero, bring my little Rissa back to me. All right, we'll get her back. So check again. Yes, that's all of the people that we can talk to right now. So that's three new quests that we picked up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here to the gate and see how it says Corthos Island here. So this is the wilderness area. So when you step out, it gives you options like other things. Now... Wilderness areas are only on normal. Um, I think there might be one or two that you can choose between an epic difficulty and a normal difficulty. Um, but those are uh, much higher levels past level 20. So anyway, you just press enter. Now when you enter a wilderness area, wilderness areas have a couple things going on from that little special. Over here on the side you'll see three things. Slayer rare encounters and explorer now you'll get experience for doing each of these things now slayer is just killing the creatures and people that you find out here rare encounters are obviously uh, kinda like mini bosses that you'll find um, but they spawn randomly so they won't be there every time that's why they're called rare encounters and then the explorer and explorers are just points of interest in each wilderness area and once you find them you'll get a bonus chunk of XP um, and that's all you have to do. The Slayer however, once every time you reach that goal it will increase and you can slay some more, slay some more, keep going. Rare encounters though, once you find those three you can't get any more. Although you can find them more than once to get um, more loot and stuff because each of them has a treasure chest. Alright, so I turned on my auto attack. We're gonna check to make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, we got an inventory. It's fine from last time. So we're gonna go ahead and run out here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Alright, so here's another guy we can talk to Gunnar Bearson, Scout. 
Hold, are you friend or foe? What is your business here? I'm working with your father. Father? I'm working with your father. I'm working with your father, Sigmund. Alright, so this is the mayor's son. Well, then I could use your help. So I'm going to have found a great beast imprisoned beneath the island since the age of giants and are trying to wake it up. The beast is kept in the eternal slumber by an ancient device far underground. The Zahagan have sabotaged it, but you can sneak an underground complex at the bottom of the cliff. You should be able to reactivate it. It's our only hope. Alright, I'll handle it. You stay here. So this is given another quest. He said it's down here at the bottom of the cliff. So we can either run all the way around, or we can jump down into the water. So let's do that. Jump. You don't take damage when you jump into water. There we go. And that was our first explorer. To an underground so I'll kill the Sahagans here. Alright, awesome. There's another Sahagan over here. Let's go ahead and kill him while we're while we're looking at him. There's another friend. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is you can summon um, hirelings out in wilderness areas. Um, this is typically about the time you'll want to start looking for other people to start grouping with if you're running by yourself. Otherwise, you're going to want to make sure you have that hireling with you. Um, I don't know if I've showed you yet, but you can press O to bring up the social panel. And the first thing, the first tab is the grouping tab. So you've got a couple options here. You can search for a group, um, or you can click for show groups I'm not eligible for. If you take that check mark off, it will only show groups that you are eligible for, which right now, none. You can also hide or public. You can hide content you don't own. And if you look, it tells you who it is that's running the, or that's leading the group. If you hold your mouse over it, it shows you other people in the group. It shows you their class and level. It shows you how long the group has been up. It tells you which quests they're in, which classes they want, and what levels they're looking for. Now, I'm not eligible because it's in um, the next section of the game, not in the beginner's area, so I can't get there. So right now you can look, all of these are too high a level for me to get on. But you could always create your own group or join one if you found one. You could also click on someone and you could send them a tell, which is kind of a whisper to just that player to ask them like, hey, what are you doing? Do you need this? Could I do this? So that's something that you could do. You could also mark yourself as looking for a party, and that way anyone who is interested in having you join them can actually send you a tell or have you join them. And then there's the guild option if you join a guild, which we'll do that later. Friends if you have any friends online. And then you can search for anyone. If you find somebody and you want to look them up, you can look them up here by name. So let's go ahead and we'll do this first quest out here, stopping the Sahagan, level 1. Now we're level 2, but that doesn't mean we can't do this. Enter. Now once we get in here, I'm going to summon my hireling. Alright, good. Go ahead and give us a blessing. And the let's move out. Goes and fetid as the ancient tunnel descends. I need to find a giantish device. I see some Sahagan already. Oh, he opened a secret compartment here. An adept. And summoned another well. Okay. Took care of them. Let's break some crates here. Moving forward. Ooh, there's a young ice method. Got to kill the method. Now, there's barrels and stuff behind here. We can't get to them unless you have a high enough search. See how it had a spot hidden? So if I search, I might be able to find it, but I don't think my spot's high enough. Or my search is high enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, 
There's going to be times where you know something's there, but you can't get to it. Now, if I was able to search those out, we'd find secret doors. And from the secret doors, there are levers that would lift up those bars there. The tunnel splits here. Which way to the giantish device? Now you can go either direction you want. In this case, by flipping the switch, it will open that door. But since this door's open and we saw a Sahagan, we'll go ahead and go this way. Now this room has a trap in it, so we'll have to avoid the trap. Oh, and my hireling is standing in it, of course. Okay. Now, if you have a rogue in the party or someone who can disable traps, they could disable that. And as I've said before, press X, you bring that up. You can get a bonus for disabling traps. The sound of distant snoring warns you that you are not alone here. Alright, so if this giant careful, room may be able to take the sleeping guards by surprise. has a uh, big trap there in the middle. We'll go around the sides, we'll take out this Sahagan here. Break all these things. Now you can see there's a door there and it has two crystals on it. And if you look here, this lever has a crystal above it. So if we, or valve I guess, turn that, that starts glowing and so does one of those crystals. So let's find the other one which, as you might expect, is on the other side of the room. So we'll go around And there's another Sahagan. The last Sahagan guard collapses. Alright, break but these. Really Hit the valve. Alright, so open the door over there. Now again, you can be picking up stuff that drops from barrels. Uh, I'll tell you right now, there's something that's really useful. Um, if you press your backspace key, so like let's say I'm looking over here, if I press my backspace key, it will automatically highlight things that can be picked up or interacted with. So if I just keep pressing it, it will cycle through things. If I look over here, it cycles through. Now this is useful for picking things up that might be like hidden underneath bodies or in just awkward places that you can't really click on them. And if you press U, it will pick it up. And so that's a way that you can get things. Like right here, these arrows, it's difficult to find because it's obscured by the remnant of that box. Like you'd have to find just the right place to pick it up. But you could pick that backspace in you to get that quickly. Alright, so let's go back over here since we've got that other lever or valve. There we go. Doors open. The extravagant gong in this room looks Let's capable see, does of this valve do anything? Shattering noise. Doesn't seem to. Can I close the store? Let's close the door. There we go. Now nothing's getting shot out. Let's hit this valve. Okay, that opened that up. Let's see, what about this? Warning gong. With the gong's reverberations, you hear a slight rumble from the larger room. But then it stops. Now sometimes you can interact with things more than once. As you can see, these things I can't interact with again. But this one I can interact with again. And the sometimes repeated interaction is what you need. The tell -tell sound of cracking ice. Oh, and I forgot to break these. Let's break those. And now we'll go down here. Drop down and Sahagan. Now, one thing I'll tell you when we get further in the game, you'll want to be going back and doing these quests multiple times on the higher difficulties. Um, basically, what that will do is it will limit you on how many times you can rest at shrines, and it will also increase the number and uh, power of your opponents, creatures, enemies in each quest. So we had two levers on this one. Let's see. That's just goes back up. Come over here, you can see down below 
and over there are two gems, and we just got the two levers, so it opened up the door down there. We've got to swim. Hatch submerged in the putrid water. So you got to be careful when swimming. Make sure you don't run out of breath. Go up. You emerge from the murky water with There's another relief. spot hidden, the which is a secret door here. Let's here. see if I can find it. I doubt it because it's not... Oh, I did find it. So we click on it. it. has some people to fight and then a shrine back here. It also has this valve, which if you had someone for who for whatever reason couldn't uh, swim, that takes you back up to that first room that the ice cracked and fell away from. Alright, so let's go forward some more. Going up the here. Plunges as you fought ahead. There's the another device must Sahagin Adept. Some breakables. Copper pieces. Another barrel, another barrel. And a chest. So let's open the chest. Winter boots. Alright, let's loot. Sure. So it binds it to me. I do not have any boots. What do they do? Cold resistance. Sure, let's put those on. Alright. Now let's see. Alright, I can see a red name up there, which means it's a boss. So let's move up. Now you see those jets of cold coming out? Those are traps that will do damage to you, so you don't want to run into those. But I will fight this guy. My fire sword does extra damage. The purple is damage because they're weak to a certain thing. Alright, so he wasn't too difficult to beat. Let's pick up these things here. Yes. Alright. So this is an instance where you want to tell your hireling to stay where they are, not to move forward. So right down here, I'm going to tell them to stay. So down here means that they're staying, so that they don't run into this trap like an idiot, because they will. So I'll try to time the trap, and break that. Alright, so we've encountered these before. We need to move the light from over here to over here. So that we can refreeze this giant ogre or troll that's over here sleeping. So let's see. We need it to come in here. So let's turn this. Turn this one around. Turn this one around. Turn this one. Turn that. And then if we turn this. We can see we now light up that one. So we'll have to do the same thing over here. Let's break these things that I see. Okay. So, for this one, let's see, I can turn this around, this around, this one, this one here. So we've got a path, and turn that. A layer of ice there we go. Over the ancient so we finished the first quest here. Slumber. We can go ahead and safe for now. put our hireling back so they follow us and finish out. So that was our first quest out here in the Corthos Wilderness area. We come back out at the same place, to an and we will continue on in our next episode.